David Suttle from KOWB, standing next to a couple of veteran indoor track kids for Lummi High School. We've got senior Aubrey Sanchez and junior Zach Connor, kind of leading the charge here in the indoor season. Now, they've already competed in one event that was up in Casper, the Natrona Indoor Invite. Plenty more to go. We get a home competition, a couple of them on the schedule, Simplot Games. State is up in Gillette, as usual, first weekend in March. So we're talking about the 6th and 7th of March. And Aubrey, I'm going to begin with you because you're the veteran of the two yeah. kids here. Um, good start for you last weekend, but what do you think as the defending girls team champs, and you're an individual champion, what are yeah. your thoughts here as, as you're underway with 2020? Um, there's definitely, I feel like, a lot of pressure sometimes. Like, I can kind of feel it like I really got to, like, live up to my, like, state champ. And, like, that's definitely what I'm really going to try and work on. And, like, hopefully, I feel like we lost a lot of good people, so our team's, like, low on numbers, so we got to count on a lot of our freshmen and everything. But I feel like we could probably do decently good this year, and if we do good, we could probably... I feel like we might be able to get another state championship. Well, you started third last week. What did that show you in the opening weekend? That we really need, like, a lot of our kids, like, with not having Emmy here, we got to work on putting more people in, like, events, even if they probably don't want to, like, run them. But definitely got to stack our events somehow. All right, so you're in the pole vault again. Yes. Plus some sprints. Are we doing yeah. jumps as well? <laughs> Maybe. Not yet, but Maybe. I'm pretty sure Shannon's going to want me to jump, yes. <laughs> so, what what do you like to do the most in indoor track? Honestly, like if I had to pick something other than pole vault, obviously I'd probably pick the 4x2. Okay, I, all right. I love the 4x2. Is it just the team aspect to that? Or? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just really fun. Like, it's not a 400, <laughs> so I'm not going to die, but like, it's not like a super short sprint either. So. Didn't you compete in a super short sprint? And yeah, like well I love week? it too, but I, I, oh, okay. I really like right. 4x2. All right, all right. All right. All right. Uh, you mentioned pressure in the defending state champ as yeah. a pole vaulter indoors. What's the competition like there? Uh, we got like Grace, who's the junior from Cody that we let. Like I've always competed really well against her. And then okay. Amira from East is another really good co competitor. But I think those are just the top three who like at this meet cleared over at least 10. Like, I know Amira went out at 10, but Grace and I had a pretty close competition at, like, 11-6. So what do you have to do to kind of raise your bar a little bit, so to speak? Pun intended there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> kind of do, I have a tendency to get in my head a lot. Right. So i got to work on not getting into my head and just keeping with the flow and All right. just going with it. We'll talk more with Aubrey. Zach, for you, you won your first competition of the new season. How was that? To um, it was actually very exciting. You know, I've only been doing track for this will be my second year wow and I did outdoor last year and then this year I started indoor and so it's uh, a lot of progress has gone into my ability to jump and so I'm really excited to see how um, I do it this coming year as well triple long high do you prefer any of them um personally triple and long I'm not too good at high yet <laughs> just started this year okay and so um, I'm really liking what I see as in points of development. So. Yeah. Anything else that you're going to be asked to do in terms of maybe uh, running? <laughs> um, four by two and 400. Mr. Uh, our coach, Mr. Stuckey, uh, was really adamant on me running the 55 and four by two, but not quite as much as a fan as I am to jump. Oh, okay. All right. So triple jump, does that kind of come natural to you, even though it's just your second year? Or, or how did you get into the jumping aspect? Um, so coach Shannon, he really uh, showed me the ropes kind of and really pushed me towards doing it on I've always really enjoyed it since the beginning, just the technique. The, the competition's still pretty high. There's a lot of talented athletes out there, and I think I uh, um, just got lucky in my first one. I need to keep consistency. What are some of the technical aspects that you have to really focus on, whether it's triple or long? Um, so the main point is just keeping your voice out of your head, just focusing, zoning in, not stressing out like most athletes do, and just um, focusing on what you have to do for that point. All right, all right. How did you think the boys as a team did finishing third in Casper in the first competition? Um, I know for triple jump, Travis Judd got half an inch behind me. Right. And he's a veteran. He's been doing it for four plus years. And so he was only doing half approaches. So he was extremely close. So in this meet, I hope that he'll be taking bowls and get us the first place. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, what's your favorite part about track road trips? Um, I guess kind of the environment, though it's a little hectic sometimes, crowded buses and everyone just trying to get to their event. Um, I really like the community, the people are nice, and just the coaches are very helpful. It's just a wonderful place to be. Yeah. What's your favorite part about it? Honestly, he's, he took my idea. I was going to say <laughs> the environment, too. Like, it's just so fun, and then just, like, jamming out on the bus with all the girls is always fun. Like, we always find a way.
way to entertain ourselves somehow. Oh. All right, what's the worst part of track road trips? <laughs> I feel like I'd have to say as a senior when there's so many of us having to double up, but... Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of and people also, out for sometimes a lot, Oh, I know. Yeah. Sometimes long bus trips get a little exhausting. Like, I know this one that lasted so long, we were all exhausted. Yeah, because you guys had to maneuver to get to Casper. Yeah. Just to, well, at yeah. least you got to compete last week. Oh, weekend. yeah. There, very, was, very, there was a couple teams that couldn't that. even get to their destination. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think the boys team overall, the, you know, the entire squad, how do you think you guys can do uh, well, this year? I personally think we have a pretty good chance at at least placing in state. Okay. We got third at our um, event in Metro. And so um, Shea Archer, he's another one of our sprinters, he's extremely fast. He stumbled out of the blocks, but still got fifth out of like 167 boys. <laughs> so I feel like we could get a lot of points with him. And then just our jumpers are really secure in where they are. And so I feel like we could just pull through and uh, Mason swing home another long yeah. distance runner. Very, very talented individual and I think uh, well. Well, that's why a you... lot of new kids too. Like oh, yeah. I noticed we've had quite a few, like a lot of seniors, like Caleb Eaton, he's new and he's loving track. Okay. And, like that's exciting. Well, that's good. That's so, good. Well, yeah. the numbers seem to be strong. Oh, yeah. Even, even the small that I talked to Coach Chabron, uh, and, and you talked about Mason, uh, you're lucky that you get to do this because I've already talked to Mason quite a bit this season <laughs> going back to the fall and cross country. So I didn't pick Mason for this one. Um, better to compete at home or on the road? Um, on the home, definitely. Do you like home? Yeah, I kind of like the road sometimes. I feel like I do better on the road. Not as many home fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in the second competition, I think I might stumble. No, I'm just kidding. All right, well, best of luck to you both. Zach, thank thanks you. so much. Good yes, to meet sir. you. Aubrey, thank, thank you so much. You. And again, Zach's just a junior. Aubrey's a senior, so the pressure's on her. I'm just kidding. Uh, have fun with it. Indoor track and field 2020 season for Laramie High School is underway.